The majority of people that are watching this video right now use Discord. But also the majority of people that are watching this don't know that there are multiple versions of Discord. And by this, I mean multiple official versions, not just those cheap knockoff versions which break TOS such as Better Discord, but these are official Discord clients and versions which you can use. And you can download any of them. So in today's video, I'll be telling you free secret Discord clients which you can use and download now. Now. So before we get into the video, there's a couple of things that I want to say. According to my YouTube statistics, only 36% of all of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. It means a lot if you could go and hit that subscribe button as we're creeping up towards 40,000 subscribers. When we do hit 40,000, I'll be giving away a year of Nitro. And also make sure to go and check you're still subscribed due to a YouTube glitch going around unsubscribing some random people. Make sure to go and like the video. Let's see if we can get to 700 likes in the first 48 hours. And also make sure to go and comment some constructive criticism to allow me to improve on future videos. I also have two Discord servers, so make sure to go check them out. Go check out my editor's channel for today's video, and also go and check today's subscriber shout out. The link will be on screen right now. Anyways guys, let's get straight into the first Discord secret client I want to talk about. Right guys, so the first one that I'm just gonna mention quickly is Discord Stable, and this is what the majority of people will have. So Discord has a stable version, which is the stuff which is completely public, is the one which you would download if you go to the download page for Discord, etc. Etc. Et and this is what 99% of all of the Discord users will probably use, or even higher than that, closer towards 100%. However, there are three other ones. So I'm going to go and show you the first one, but I'm going to show you me downloading it and showing how to get it first. Right guys, so the first secret Discord version is the public test build. Now, yes, this is probably the easiest one to get and it's probably the most known out of all of them. However, all you have to do is you've got to go to discord.com slash new slash download or discord.com slash download. And what it will do, if you scroll down to the bottom, it will say feeling experimental, try out our public test build and test new features before they launch. So what you do is you click this download public test build button and then you can choose what you're on. So I'm on a Mac, so let me choose that. And it will start to download it. Right guys, so I've just downloaded the Discord public test build. And as you can see up here, it says Discord PTB, which obviously stands for Discord public test build. Now, if I click about Discord, you'll see the current version that I'm actually using. So I'm gonna go and log into this and tell you a bit more about it. So I've just logged in and as you will see, it's just loading up. So this looks pretty much the same. It's got the exact same Discord icon down below. It's still blue but you'll see some deviations in the later versions I show. So let me just tell you a little bit about it. So the public test build is exactly what the name says. It's basically a public build which someone can use to test future updates. Now, the majority of the time, this public test build is on the exact same version that the Discord stable client's on. However, some of the time you will get stuff before it gets released. And what I mean by this is you will get features before they go live, which is pretty cool, I would say. So it's definitely one of the things which you can definitely do and it's quite easy to get. Out of the three secret versions that I'm going to be telling you, this is definitely the most stable out of all of them. And by stable, I mean the less buggy. However, you can just go to discord.com slash download and get it straight away. So if you want to do that, you can go there. It's basically just to make sure there's no major bugs before it gets really released to the majority of Discord users. And it's something which you can get. So it's pretty awesome. You might as well get it and go and have a look around. You might see something new. The next two are slightly better and they include different icons. So let me go over to that. Right guys, so the next one I'm going to be talking about is the Canary client. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go over to here where it says support.discord.com and it's basically an article which mentions both of them. So it mentions the public test build that I said beforehand, but it also mentions Canary, which is the next one I'm going to talk about. So I'll link this in the description if you want to go there and download the versions which are suitable for your computer. However, as I'm saying, I'm using a Mac, so I'll be downloading the Canary Mac version again. And once I click this link, it would bring me to download it again too. So it's got five seconds left, so let's get into this. Right guys, so I'm over on Discord Canary right now, and the first thing I'm gonna show you is the fact it has a completely different icon. It is almost an orangey gold color instead of the standard blue that Discord has. Well, Blur Pool, which is basically the official Discord name for it. So up here, as you will see, if I go to Discord Canary and I go about Discord, it'll tell me the version I'm currently using. So I'm currently on 0.0.251. So I'm just gonna log in, and I'm gonna show you around a little bit, and I'm gonna tell you what Canary 
Canary is. Right guys, so I'm currently logging in to Discord Canary and it's something that I use on my laptop a lot. However, I'm on my desktop computer and because I use this for recording, I don't tend to use Canary. I've just logged in. So this version is a lot more buggy than the rest of it. And by this, I mean a hell of a lot more buggy. It has updates way before they go push to the public test build and the public builds. And it's got features which you will see way beforehand. I mean, this currently, I don't know if there's any features on here currently which aren't on the main public build. However, I will just tell you a little bit about Canary immediately. So this called Canary, as you can see down here, is basically something you need to download with a direct link. And Canary is basically the main build that Discord have and they use on the Discord testers server, which is the server down here, which they use to basically test bugs. Now Discord will push a lot of updates to this very early on. And basically it means that people on Discord testers can test these versions and bugs and features way before they go out to the main majority of Discord users. Now this is to stop any issues happening and to stop anything going wrong or make the client unusable. So basically this is just a little method which Discord does to prevent issues arising. Now a lot of companies do something like this. However, it is something which a lot of people don't know exist and they probably have never seen that icon before anyway. So the interesting thing about this is whereas you would get maybe an update on stable once every couple of days or every week or so, on Canary you're probably going to get about 10 to 12 updates on Discord every single day. So it's completely different. It's a completely different thing and it's something I would go and I recommend you go and try out. Why not go and try and find some bugs and features and report them to Discord testers to help the wider Discord community. You might even get a cool badge from it, such as the one which I'm showing on screen now, which is the Discord Bug Hunter badge. So go and download Discord Canary. I'll put the link in the description for you to do that. It's got a pretty cool icon so you can flex on your friends who don't know about it. However, it is pretty awesome. So that is probably the one which some people know, but not everyone knows. The next one is something which I didn't even really know about until fairly recently. And I have heard about it and I've seen some things, but I had not really known about it too much. So I'm gonna go and get into that in a second. But Discord Canary, go download it. Right guys, so the next one is something where you're gonna have to type in the direct link. And for me, this is downloading the development version. It's definitely the one which a lot of people don't know about. So what you do is you've gonna have this link and I'll put this in the description and it'll be on screen. And then up here, you can change this from OSX, which is basically a Mac, to Win, which is Windows, or Linux, which is obviously Linux. So what you do is you just hit enter and then it will download it for you. So currently I'm downloading the Discord development tool version and as you can see it's just opening up on my Mac right now and what I have to do is I'll just drag it over to applications and finally, this is the one which tops it all. Discord development. So as you can see, it's got a black icon. It's basically like a, I don't know, like a blueprint thing with a Discord logo in the front and it's black and it looks so cool. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on this and open it. So over here, we are on the Discord development client. And as you can see, if I go up here, where it says Discord development and about Discord, it shows me the version I'm on. So I'm on 0.0.0. .0 eight six five two so let me just tell you a little bit about it so basically until recently it hasn't been updated for some reason discord had decided to resign it and now it's on the same build as canary however it basically uses up less ram and the logo looks really really cool as well so it's basically canary it's not really supported for uh bug reports so if you are going to report bugs on discord testers you cannot use this version to report them however it is something completely different now and next thing I'm going to be showing you is a bit different. So the next thing I'm going to be telling you about is build overrides. So I'll head over to Canary for a second and I'll show you what it looks like when you're on the client. Basically there's a thing which Discord testers use a lot where you can basically stumble across a build override and what this means is basically automatically restart your client and you're set to a special version of the Discord's code which means that you're on a completely different version from the rest of Discord which the majority of the public can never see until it's released and I've seen a lot of these before previously and I've occasionally actually gone onto it myself. So let me go over to Canary and show you that in person. Anyways guys, over here you can see a build override. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna copy the link or show you it much. However, basically it shows like a build ID and then it shows basically the part which it applies to underneath. And if you want to apply it, all you do is you click the apply button. 
and then it eventually reloads your client. And as you can see here, it basically has put me on the build override and it'll show like a user settings override cog. And then if you want to clear it, it would just clear it and it would refresh your Discord client. Discord build overrides, they're pretty cool. Go check them out if you're on Discord testers, you might as well go and test out the bugs. But today's video, the whole purpose was to show you the different Discord versions you can get and how there's so many different ones and some of them are quite secretive. So make sure to go check them out for yourself. The links will be in the description if you want to go download them. They're completely public, so go and do that, why not? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I do have some awesome videos planned for this week, so make sure to keep an eye out. Go and hit that notification bell to get notifications. I do hide Discord Nitro codes in every single upload if you're early, so make sure to go check that out. Go comment, like the video, and subscribe. Join both my Discord servers, and also go and watch my other videos on my channel. I've got so many Discord videos, so make sure to go check them out. Anyways, have an awesome day, guys, and peace out.